I'm Victor Paul Kawaga. I'm a robotics uh, technology educator. I work with Oysters and Pearls, Uganda. I serve as a technology consultant uh, in the field of robotics, but I'm also uh, instructing uh, in, the, in the schools that are running Oysters and Pearls programs. So this is uh, my personal workshop and uh, it's where I spend most of the time doing my innovations. Oysters and Pearls Uganda is an organization uh, that an NGO that uh, looks at cultivating education and technology for both the sighted and the blind or the visually challenged. During the lockdown uh, we instead channeled our efforts to uh, research and development to do what we've been teaching the students in schools. Uh, creating uh, solutions to the problems and uh, one of the problems has been uh, uh, the health workers finding it uh, challenging to deal with uh, COVID-19 patients. So we try to reduce on the doctor or the health worker uh, patient contact by coming up with this uh, design of a robot that can uh, do the screening uh, in front here uh, with this uh, sensor, an IR sensor, so it does the screening. Uh, it also allows uh, picking packages from a given point to another, assuming say it's medication. It's the very first of its kind, it's the very first prototype we've come up with, but uh, we're looking at uh, the, the next version which will be more improved. Uh, I love the robotics bit of the technology in particular because when you are say designing this robotic arm you get to really appreciate uh, your your structure because moving an arm it's something obvious to us but when you try to make the, uh, the same movements in a machine it's something different you realize it's way too complex so it allows you know that appreciation uh, of what god has created it's also a tool to empower. I, I love it when I do stuff that allows someone to do what they couldn't uh, achieve like by themselves. Uh, and uh, that comes in when I design, say, uh, small robots that students can use, can, can program to learn more math, to learn more physics uh, in the concepts uh, embedded in those designs. Uh, some of the parts that we use, we get them from uh, uh, local, uh, local materials, uh, local uh, places, things like uh, broken printers. We salvage them, uh, just as we have a lot of them here. We salvage those broken printers. We pick out uh, things like the motors, uh, the electronics, uh, some of these boards. Find a board might be broken but the components, the individual components themselves are still in good shape. So we pick out the healthy components and then we, uh, following our schematics, we normally come up with a, a new design. I also collect uh, dead laptop batteries. When your laptop battery is down, it doesn't mean the whole battery pack is dead, but it could be uh, one of the pairs that is down and then the battery management system uh, considers the whole pack as spoiled. So I put them apart and then test them individually and find those that are still working and use them in my projects. Uh, I believe uh, Africa also needs to be among the makers uh, as opposed to all only consuming the technology otherwise uh, we're going to be lagging behind we also need to live say to be part of the people going on other planets but you can sit in your backyard and you know create something that is going to change someone's life out there and then at the end of the day you're benefiting from it yeah